Governor Greg Abbott did tweet about what happened yesterday, as so many other elected officials did. But according to Texas Tribune political correspondent Patrick Svitek, Abbott said, quote, peaceful protest is a core tenant of the U.S. Constitution. Violence and mayhem are not. Hundreds of people gathered in support of Trump at the Texas Capitol building yesterday, but it was mostly peaceful. The DPS closed the Capitol during protests as a precaution and it reopened it today. As for other Texas leaders who have weighed in on yesterday's riots, KXAN News Today's Tom Miller caught up with the Texas Tribune's Alana Rocha. We did hear from Attorney General Ken Paxton, which of course we heard from him uh, in person uh, out there in D.C. He was among those who, you know, was at the, the rally for Trump, uh, alongside Trump, uh, you know, decrying the election and that he led the fight in, in many baseless, ultimately baseless lawsuits. Uh, and then later tweeted that, you know, he called for calm and violence isn't the answer, but then he seemed to, to blame Antifa thugs, which of there is no evidence that that was the case yesterday. You mentioned Paxton, but Texas Senator Ted Cruz, also a big name out there. Is he taking any heat at all from Republicans about pushing forward with his election objections even after we saw that violence? From Republicans, um, you know, I think that there was uh, just an interesting reaction yesterday among Republicans, uh, many decrying the violence, saying that it's not the answer, but then seeming to ignore um, many of their rhetoric um, basically fanning the flames of uh, leading up to yesterday's events. Um, as far as, you know, Democrats do have strong words for uh, Senator Cruz calling him uh, on him to resign. Um, that being, you know, Congressman Joaquin Castro, his brother, Julian, a former HUD secretary, among others, uh, Houston officials as well. But um, that's where that is. Okay. As for the Texas Capitol, we know it reopened this morning, but do you see what happened in Washington, D.C. is potentially having any impact here in Austin? Well, I think so. I mean, you saw it have a, a direct impact to where uh, you saw some uh, pro-Trump supporters out there yesterday. They, they, that being the DPS, watched what was unfolding in D.C., didn't know if it was going to happen there and at other state capitals around the country. And so they, um, you know, locked it down. And yes, uh, the, the coming session that starts Tuesday is going to be very different given the pandemic. Uh, and wanting to control the number of people inside the Capitol. We know that, you know, for opening day, which is uh, normally a packed day at the Capitol, uh, members are limited in how many people they can bring in, where they can sit on the floor, in the gallery, things like that. And so I think you're going to see definitely limited access, especially given the events of yesterday. And speaking of the new session, any update on possible names for the next Texas Speaker of the House? Well, I think it's all but certain it's going to be Dade uh, Phelan. Uh, he has widespread support. I mean, People among uh, those uh, lawmakers who said that they will vote for him, a Democrat, uh, Houston Democrat, uh, Symphonia Thompson, and uh, Briscoe Kane, a staunch Republican part of the so-called Freedom Caucus. So different ends of the political spectrum, uh, both supporting uh, Dave Phelan for speaker. So it's all but inevitable. All right. Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune. We appreciate it. Thank you.